Hi, Flipgrid folks. Uh, first of all, congratulations on being picked up by Microsoft. I'm not at all surprised because you have a phenomenal product. Um, I searched you out because I had been uh, one of the beta testers for Matt Hackett and Casey Neistat's Bean product, which was then picked up by CNN. And the possibility of interactive video like this is amazing because of you know, the oral storytelling tradition um, that our brains are wired for. So there's that. I have two things I want to talk to you about. I'm going to be as brief as possible. One of them is timely and get a move on it. Um, so I'm going to give you the most detail on that. That has to do with the border babies. And then the second one is longer term and it'll be like a let's flip grid or I don't know, talk on the phone or email or something like that. Okay, so border babies. Wild idea, I realize, but the gist of it is my mother's heart, my teacher's heart, is worried that these teeny little things that were already tired are going to forget the names of their mothers and fathers, of their abuelitas and their abuelitos, uh, and their tios and their tias. And I speak a little Spanish. So I've been thinking about kinds of questions that you'd want to ask those little tiny kids and you wouldn't want to just ask them because they don't know who you are. You'd want to play with them, right? That's what we teachers do is we build trust and we build relationship and then we get information that we need. And because we're teachers, we're not jerks about it. Anyway, um, so my idea is that Microsoft, Flipgrid, anybody send in a whole bunch of IT experts to help the government, and I don't even know if the government's doing this already. I don't know. I don't have those kinds of connections. You guys do. So I'm just shooting this idea at you. That if they are not the government, meaning comforting these children, playing with these children, being silly if you can, doing any of the things that would be necessary at this point, to undo any of the trauma that they've faced. You do that. You get the psychologists in there, you get the pediatricians in there, you get the IT experts in there, and then, if you can, you get early childhood teachers who know how to play and do art and do theater and just be kind and read books. And then as they're doing that, weave in you know, donde está tu lugar? Donde está tu pueblo? Okay, those kinds of things. Because, as you know, with little kids, they're going to lose those details. And these are not the kinds of kids that travel with papers, right? And were the situation reversed, we'd be wanting someone to do that for our children. So that's my idea. It's a little fuzzy, but it comes from a good place. Um, and Flipgrid, of course, then you could get any Spanish teachers from around the world. That's the beauty of it. Uh, so that's the first idea. That's the big deal one. If you want to stop watching now, cool. But I would like to also talk about um, a project I have going that will be presented as a poster project at NCTE, so the National Council of Teachers of English. You guys know that because you're Flipgrid. But NCTE um, in November in Houston, and it has to do with pre-career and pre-college and pre-adult life um, skills as they relate to English, which is what I teach. So how does reading, writing, speaking, listening, critical thinking, and habits work? I should, have, I should have said how do they, but whatever. How do those skills, what I call the six skills, Six success skills. Ugh, it's hard to say. I'll have to come up with something else. Anyway, um, how do those help adults in real life? And because I'm from a rural area that's very poor, I'm focusing my work to begin with on just my county, which is Franklin County in Maine. Okay? So again, my name is Heather, um, and you guys have sent me two emails already offering to reimburse me. Don't reimburse me. Just talk to me. Seriously, because that's all I want. I want my ideas out there, helping kids, okay? Um, 
You can find me on Twitter. It's Teach Me Ha. So teach, M-E, and then Ha for my initials, H-A-A-H, Heather Ann Ern Hewish. That's my Twitter handle. And then my Gmail that you sent to was Mountain Ha, M-T-N-H-A-H at Gmail. And I think you also sent to my school account, which is Ahern Hewish, A-H-E-R-N-H-E-L-S-H, and I said that fast, at gmail.com. Whatever. I'm very findable because I'm all over social media. Hewish is H-U-I-S-H. Flipgrid, let's do this thing. Thank you for watching.